The next set of filters here, the noise filters, actually are used to remove noise from an image, except for the top one, add noise, adds in noise. Everything else is used to remove noise or effects. I'm going to zoom in on this picture, see if we can find a bit of a noise effect in here. Now this is a JPEG image that has been compressed. And you can kind of see kind of blockiness up in here. You can almost see the lines in here. That's JPEG artifacting. And that's one of the things which you can use the noise filter to try to minimize. First off, though, we can add noise into this. And with noise, we can bring in either a Gaussian effect or a uniform and then monochromatic and the percentage of noise. So it's a way to add in a little bit of a film grain effect. Just like that. Going on down our noise filters. Despeckle tries to remove any speckling. Notice how it softens up the image. It tries to retain hard edges if it finds them and soften up the areas that don't have hard edges on them. Let's just undo that despeckle. There's also that, that despeckle is just applied directly. There's no dialog box on it. It just does it. Dust and scratches tries to go through and find dust and scratch areas. Again, notice how it's softening up the areas in here in the smooth area and it's trying to retain the hard edges when it finds those. You can adjust the radius on that a little less radius. You can increase the threshold effect which means a little less adjustment. And here's with and without the preview. So on this one the technique is to try to find just the right balance on taking out dust and scratches. It was identifying all this stuff here as a scratch. Median tries to come in and balance the picture out. There is preview and without preview. Again, notice how it is doing a pretty good job at retaining the edges of the image. You can adjust the radius, which will control the amount. As I always mention, take a look at the high ends on your filters. You may find some special effects up there which might be useful at times. And then finally, reduce noise. This is possibly the best dialog box or the best tool in this whole section. And here we have a lot of options. Basic and advanced. Advanced allows us to work on a per channel. So you actually choose which channel you want to be working on. Basic just works on the whole channel. Removing the JPEG artifacts tries to go through and clean out those little things we, we saw there. And there's without. And there's with. I'm going to zoom in a bit here and look at this sale section again. Not seeing much on that moving the artifacts. There we go. Back in again and taking it out. So in here you can use this to go through and try to adjust the image. Notice how it's softening up the detail in here. It's still retaining the hard edges nicely, but it's softening up the area inside here. And this is a choice on preserving detail. So you can use this to come in and by adjusting your different settings, you can attempt to take care of any of those little spotty problems you want to get rid of and still retain the most quality you can in the overall image. For instance, here is without and with just a slight change in there. So very subtle, but also a real nice tool to try to just clean out any little artifacts, dust, scratches, things like that that you may have inside of your image. So that's the noise section.